All right, everybody, I want to congratulate Joe Biden and Kamala Harris with their victory. But now the real challenge begins. They need to defeat COVID, they need to fix the economy, and they need to address climate change. Now, I don't presume to know more than they do, but I do want to give them a piece of advice. When you shut down the coal industry, which I think is necessary when climate change is concerned, it hurts the communities relying on the economic activity of the coal mines and the coal plants. It will end up creating ghost towns, and that's something that we do not want. And it's also something that you can avoid. Now, renewables are cool, but they don't bring lasting jobs. Nuclear plants do. In fact, there are nuclear designs on the table that you can swap for existing coal-fired power plants. So what I mean is you basically break down the coal furnace and you put in a nuclear reactor instead, which means that most of the people that still work at the plant can remain working there. And this is a big deal because you would be reusing valuable assets like the terrain, the grid attachment, and maybe even some of the existing equipment. Now, when you help the U.S. coal country move towards a nuclear future, you would be doing them a huge favor. You will be transforming these regions because you have a promise to the people who live there. Not just the people working in the coal industry, but their children too. You would be transforming the small towns into burgeoning hotspots of new activity, giving them renewed faith that their local economy will be vibrant for many generations to come. And that's because a nuclear power plant lasts for at least 60 years. You will be sending a clear message to the young people in the region that there's something meaningful to do for them in the near future. And I think that's worth a consideration. I urge you to think of all the communities that are hurting right now, or will be hurting if their power plants are lost due to the transition away from fossil fuels. Renewables, certainly, but nuclear, that's the, that's the absolute lifeline for these people. You'd be true to your word, not just being a president for those who voted for you, but also a president for all Americans, including those whose industries you're about to close. Now, thank you all for watching. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.